All right, here we are, another lovely video. I have to pull up this question. Somebody asked me on my community app. So, Rachel asks me, what age were you when you decided you wanted to create music? And who was or is your musical mentor? This is as a child, but... I'll answer that. Um, so, I didn't really know what I wanted to do until I was about 13 or 14. Um, I just was kind of a kid that floated about. I didn't really know what the hell I wanted to do. It kind of culminated in... I think I was probably around 14 or 15, um, actually, when my dad bought me this documentary... <clears throat> called A Year and a Half in the Life of Metallica. And it was a documentary about the band making one, like, probably their first really, really gigantic record. They had big records before, but this one was, like, super commercial success. And I, he sent, he gave me this documentary, my dad did, and I watched it, and I just got obsessed with it. And I'd watch it, I don't know how many times I watched it. I know my best friends had to watch it with me a dozen times, um, easily. Um, and probably a dozen's quite a low number. Anyway, I know that thing word for word. So, I watched it, and I was just, like, I knew that I didn't really, even back then I knew I didn't have the patience to be a really great musician. But I saw this producer, his name was Bob Rock. I'm sure his name still is that. Is that a real name? I doubt it. Anyway, he was producing this album, and didn't really, I, you know, I didn't really know, know a lot about producers. Um, I didn't know a lot about producers, but I just knew, I'm like, what he's, do like, I could do that. I could do that. You're in the, you're in the studio, you know, you're kind of calling the shots. You're basically quality control for the record. You get to be a people person, and you get to be a musical person, you know. So it's creativity and people skills, which are the two things I had as a kid. I was like, this would be perfect for me. I could do this. And then that's kind of when I decided what I wanted to do. Did I know how to do that or get there? No. I had no freaking clue. So when I went to college... You know, I played guitar and I was in a band and um, I just ended up being the person that was recording the band songs. And then, you know, we start bringing in other people and then other artists would come to us. Then I was making beats and writing music and I was like, oh, this is it. That was kind of how it happened. It was just, weirdly, it's like I knew what I wanted to do, didn't know how to get there, and then just kind of filled in the blanks. And... Um, I don't really, you know, and I don't think I really became a producer, producer, probably until I was in my 20s in college, even though I had produced a lot of indie records. And that's when I started learning from people. But I had, I've had many mentors. Um, my good friend Billy Terrell, who's a great producer and songwriter, um, he had some uh, hits in like the 70s and 80s, and I know that was a while ago, but, you know, I was getting my career off the ground in the early 2000s, so, um, and then, uh, Kenny Gamble, Leon Hub, they taught me some things, um, you know, and even up till today, I am in touch with Steve Lillywhite, Butch Walker, you know, just some really amazingly talented people that I'm grateful that I can reach out to with, adv uh, you know, for advice and thoughts like that. I'll bounce songs, you know, off of people sometimes, and, um, you know, so it's cool. Um, but it is interesting, though, when you think about from the time when you're a teenager, like I was, and I was like, I want to be this guy in the studio, you know, like, not really, you know, there's a little bit of ego in what I do. It's like, how can you be the rock star without having to play all the instruments? <laughs> That's really what it is. I guarantee I like attention. I mean, look what I'm doing now. Um, but, you know, years down the road, I remember 
even 10, 12 years ago, sitting at Zach Recording, it's now Astro, um, sitting in the studio going, holy shit, like, this is what I do, this is kind of nuts. Like, when I was a teenager, who the fuck thought I would be sitting in a studio doing this? You know, and I act like, oh yeah, I knew all along, but you never know. <laughs> anyway, I hope that answered your question, Rachel. But thanks for the question. People, please, please send me more questions. I like doing this. Because y'all know I like the attention. Alright? Thanks for watching.